Hello everyone and welcome back to the War Boss Fitch channel. Today we are gonna have ourselves a big fight of Age of Fantasy in 10 millimeter. Now what we've got here is we have a good guys quote unquote defensive line fighting off against the hordes of chaos. Now the idea for this game is that the Empire is trying to defend with my pokey stick, trying to defend the church over here. It's, there's so much on the board I gotta keep my camera like off the board for the first time. <clears throat> so they're trying to defend the church from all the forces of chaos. And they're coming out of the woods because I've been watching a lot of anime recently and there's always demons in the woods. I don't know why, it's a trope. So we're gonna run with it. So my plan is that this is gonna be split up across multiple videos because oh my lord. Um, I'm going to put the army lists in a link down below in the description because I just found out this week that you could do that. <clears throat> I, I got on the uh, One Page Rules Discord and saw that someone threw my name out there and asked about army lists and one of the developers said, hey, you could do this. So we're going to give that a shot. Hopefully it works. But like I said, we're going to split this into multiple videos. Um, it's all going to be shot and recorded today, but I'm going to edit it into multiples to save my own sanity as I trip over everything in the shop, as I save my own sanity. So hopefully I can get them all out this weekend to not keep you guys from waiting. And with that, we're going to go to see who gets first turn. All right, for lack of better terms, good guys. Bad guys. Looks like you guys are gonna go first. Now another thing to note here, guys, is that I'm using large regiments, like say these here footmen. This is uh, this is 30 footmen. And the reason I did that is I have a lot of a lot of squads that are larger than they should be because one, it looks cool, <laughs> and two, to keep me from having, I, I think. I think the, the Chaos Army has 90 units, so try not to have 90 individual activations. Um, we're gonna just roll with it like that. So, opening salvo is gonna be these three cannons that have been put into one section are gonna fire into the War God Beast Riders. Alright, look for five. Three hits turn into nine with an AP1, look for four. One, two, three, four, five wounds go through. We have one stand down to four wounds remaining. So I'm counting a whole stand here as a three, even though, you know, the models are too big to fit three of them on one stand. But I just think they're extra beefy. Opening move for the demons is to send out the little guys. The steam tanks have moved out, and they're going to fire their, their steam guns at the little dudes. Fours to hit, and then sixes to save. All right, they all fail, but they have regeneration, so they only lose two. With seven wounds remaining on that stand, now the steam tanks are going to fire their cannons into the giants over there. Four, five, six. So fours to hit, and then they are grouped together. So, let me look up their stats to save. So they have a three defense, so we're looking for a four because that's AP1, so the Giants only take two wounds. Just for fun, I want to show you what I'm working with over here. So, <laughs> here's all my special rules for both armies. All of the spells for all the armies. And then these are all the stats. So, this is going to take a minute for me, but for you guys, I'll edit all the, the, the inner, the fun, running back and forth bits out. Now the Giants move forward. Now our second cannon team here is going to also fire at the uh, War Beast Riders, so look for five to hit. Two, which again just turns right back into six. Defense three, so look for four. So they take two more. 
One unit of horrors has moved up. Okay, the Giants have wandered into Marksman, into range of the Marksman on the hill with their rifles. So it's a unit of 40. Look for a five to hit. Four is the save. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's going to take him down to five wounds remaining on one of the Giants. Plague Warriors have come out to play. Have all the guns in the middle here are going to fire at the Giants as well, so look for a five. I'm just going to do this live. Oh, they did not do very good. Needing a four to save. So six. That'll be the end of him. And then there's the number 17 wounds left on this Giant. So the crushers with the champion move forward. They're going to activate the symbol of war. Eh, fails go off. Now the forest guard are going to arc their shots up and over into the crushers. So we're looking for four. I'm trying to pick the same dice over and over. We have a three to save. So that's going to be enough to take this stand out. We have our first Lust unit to demons moving forward. The longbowmen on the hill are going to fire at the Lust demons. So 50 shots. Looking for a 5 and then a 5. Now 5 to save. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15. 18, so that's going to make a panic check, and they're going to panic. Nine Vortex Beasts move into the center. On this far flank, we have the Longbowmen here going to fire into the Horror unit here. So because they have stealth, we're looking for five. Two, three, four, five. And then we need a five to save because they're AP1. So that's going to be four. And because of their split rule, those four dead pinks Add in eight blues. Our first massive chunk of Havoc Warriors have moved up behind the Giants. 30 mounted marksmen move forward, and they each have two shots each, normally hitting on fives, but with stealth, they hit on six. It did pretty good with 18 hits, and it goes through on a five. Now they split again. I, I don't have enough blues, so just imagine those pinks in that squad of blue. Okay, I did my math wrong. Just imagine those pink horrors and demon heads in there are blue horrors. Second squad of Lust Warriors has moved forward. Not a bowman on this flank. They're going to fire at the already wounded uh, demon heads just to get them off the board. Now that to think about it, hitting on a five. And the Lust Warriors save on a four. Okay, they kill eight of them, so it's down to one stand to five. They've already failed their panic check, so they, they fail again. But it doesn't matter, because they're already panicked. With all the shooting units done, we're going to go ahead and move everything else and then get right back to you. Now we finished moving both sides as the Chaos Hordes push forward. On this flank, the infantry did some reforming to plug the hole and to let the knights through. And Pegasus up over the top. All of our tree man units wanting to get out into the fight and then all the Empire infantry plugging the holes a couple of our commanders like the uh, yeah, Empire commander and the forest elf commander or the wood elf commander has decided to stick back as a reserve to see how everything is going so now we're gonna go through and do all the wizardy stuff and all the symbols of different chaos gods on the other side so I know it's a little bit out of order but we're just going to do some things out of order for a game this size. So first we're going to start with the symbol of change. So we got four from him and one from him are all going to fire into the steam tanks. So look for fours. So we got four of them. So those are AP three, deadly three. So look for five to save. So all four of them go through. So that means one steam tank is down and the other one's down to six wounds. 
So now the Lord of Change, the Avatar of Change, is going to attempt to cast loyalty on this squad to give them regeneration. Normally it's a six, but he wears a wizard, he needs a four, and that fails. So then the little guy is going to try to attempt the same thing, but he needs a five. Yeah, he fails as well. Now for the plague, his symbol of plague, and his symbol of plague. So we have three total, so let me figure out where that's going to go. Alright, so that's three units are going to take a difficult terrain test. So we're going to do one, two, three. We're going to start off with the Royal Knights. So one, two, three, four, five, six are going to die. Now on the Forest Riders, same thing. One, two, three, four. Oh, not that bad. And then lastly, the Tree Revenants. Five. Just five. Now he's going to attempt to cast Putrefaction. He needs a three and it fails. Now time for the symbols of war. So it'll be four for him and one for him. We end up with two. So six attacks total. We're going to target this unit right here. And they're going to be an AP of two. So for six to save. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're gonna lose six. Last but not least, the symbol of lust. Once again, four and one. So we got three of them. So two units automatically take three hits each. So we're gonna do that squad and that squad. Multiply it up. It's twelve hits each. So for the mounted bowmen, look for five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then for the Realm Knights, looking for four to save. One, two, three, four. And that brings us to the end of turn one and beginning of turn two. Since they are vastly outnumbered in points, the good guys are going to go first. Alright, getting the opening charge on turn two will be these Realm Knights into the demonettes. Before I do that, I figured out that uh, these units have regeneration. So, okay, so they heal two. And then the other unit of knights over there. Four, five, six. They heal two. So in case you already put it down in the comments, yeah, okay, in a game this big, I'm gonna catch stuff after the fact. But back over here. All right, so the front, everybody who can get in there is 20 guys. One, two, yeah, 20 guys against those four stands. So it'll be 40 impact hits as I'm throwing them everywhere. Uh, at AP one, so automatic hits. Saving on a five. So 22 demonettes go down in the initial charge, and then the regular attacks from the Realm Knights looking for four or five. I gotta go check. So it was a four, and then saving on a five. Another four go down, that'll be that. And knock this down to four remaining. So the demon has to get attacked back. Two attacks apiece. Hitting on a four, so only two with no overload hits. And then saving on a four. So two more knights go down. Oh wait, they got regeneration. One more knight goes down. Uh, and then it's painfully obvious the demons lost that combat by a ton. But they're going to stick. Wow. Okay, then. Seeing the Pegasus Knights take off over there, this unit of Harbinger Calvary is going to charge them, knowing what Pegasus Knights can do. So first thing before attacking, the champion here is going to tell this squad, using his Doomcaller ability, that you're minus two to morale checks. And then, uh, all these, looking for four to save. So for the saves, it's one, two, three, four, five, six Pegasus Knights are gonna die. The Pegasus Champion is also gonna go down. And four wounds on the High Champion on the Griffin. And their regular attacks with their lances are gonna poke you with sticks. Those are hitting on a three, and then they're AP one, so he saves on a five. 
One, two, three, four. That's going to be enough to take him down. The first devastating charge of the Havoc Calvary. They're just going to wiggle this direction. The Realm Knights on this side are going to charge into the Lust Chariots. And only three of them are going to be able to make frontage. So 30 attacks automatically hitting. Saving on a four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 wounds go through. That's going to be enough to knock over one. And they have nine. Five, six, four left on the other one here. And then their regular attacks. Five, 10, 15. Getting out of four. Saving on a three. So we're on one, two, three, no, it's four. So that'll be enough to knock over the second chariot. Yeah. I was wrong, I read that wrong. They're actually only tough six instead of tough nine, so that's gonna be enough to just wipe that squad. And then they're gonna get their three inch. Do, 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 do. The Blood Calvary is going to, whoop, oh, it's gonna fly out of my hand <laughs> as they charge into this squad of Realm Knights. They have a lot of hits, a lot of impact hits, but no AP, so saving on a four. Then with Blessing of the Lady, they get regeneration on a four, or on a five, I mean, that was not supposed to be there. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, go down. So that'll be enough to take him and that. Now they're attacking with great weapons with Furious. It's two attacks apiece. Hitting on a four. Saving on a six. And regen on the five. So that's another five. Then their mounts are gonna attack. Hitting on a four. If he wants a saving on a five, and then regeneration on a five. No, so one, two, three, four, five, seven. All right, the attack back. Four. Z okay. This one's gonna be AP three. It fails. These two. Saves on a three, so two more fails. So three wounds. So one squad has six left, and then the, they definitely lost combat, and they are going to take off running. So the next charge is going to be these knights into the Lust Fiends. Now they automatically hit, so the Lust Fiends are going to save on a five. They did, the, uh, they did 13 wounds on the impact hits and then their regular attacks hitting on four. And then saving on a four. Ooh, get back here. So one, two, three, four. So I'll take them down to one left and then they're going to get to attack back. So three guys in the front, that's 18 attacks, hitting on a three with overload. Okay, three overload hits. <laughs> One more hit. And saving on a four. So now the Knights still won combat by three, so the Lust Fiends pass their panic check on a three. So these guys need to back up just a little bit. Put him on that side just to keep things separate. Now the Lust Beast Riders here are going to charge into the Mounted Bowman. Now the front range impact saving on a five. Now the regular attacks, we're gonna do the beasts first. They have poison and overload, and they're going to be hitting on a four. So we got four sixes, that means with the poison, eight, we're gonna get eight more regular hits, and then 
four overloads for one more hit. And it's all AP nothing, so saving on a five for the mounted guys. So five, ten, eleven. One. Ten more. Then for the demons in the back, they get one attack apiece. With over, just overload, no poison this time. So there's one, two, three, sixes. And all the regular hits. Okay, so the three sixes means I get to roll one, two, three, four, five, six more attacks. And I get three more hits. So, again, it's all AP nothing. Save now five. So there is six more. So, boop. Boop. Now the Harbinger. The Harbinger of Lust. Or the, not the, the Champion of Lust. He has two attacks with a spear. One hit. AP2, so seven and a six. And then one attack with his mount. Fails. Okay, so. Four. Wait, no. Three left. I think so. We're gonna go with that. Either way. So now the mounted yeomen are gonna attack back. They do have lances. So they get two hits. Demon save on a four, so one wound goes through the demons, and then panic check for him. Oh yeah, he takes off. The good guys are shifting their focus back to the center, and our royal knights from the humans are going to charge into the fly riders, but hey, they're frogs today. So the knights with their lances, saving on a three. Seven get through, but they have regeneration. Six go through, so like 15 attacks regularly, hitting on a four. And saving on a three, and regeneration. There's one more. I just realized they have Blessing of Plague, which means my regeneration should have been on the four, but you know what? I'm gonna let that one ride. Okay, the attack backs first the frogs. Hitting on a four. Then AP1, so it's saving on a four. And then the guys in the back's attacking with poison weapons. Okay. <laughs> Only two hits, but they were poison. So saving on three. Okay, one bar goes down. The Plague Riders lost combat with their four, they need a four to stick, and they do. Now the Bloodhound's gonna charge in. Right into a spear unit. So they do not get their impact hits. Four bases or four times five models to able to attack. Let me look up their stuff. So we got 20 dogs attacking with three attacks piece. So that will be 60 attacks. So that was threes to hit with AP of one. Looking for a six to save. Even though there were quite a few sixes in that batch, it was just enough to kill all six stands of infantry, or men at arms. On the opposite flank, our giant squad of lesser changelings, change beings, whatever, is going to flame this unit of pistoliers. So, uh, looking for a five. Now, saving on a five. And they end up losing ten pistoliers. These forest riders are going to charge into 
plague swarms. So we can get full frontage on them. Where did this guy bring up the rear? So 56 impacts, because there's only 26 of them, but they all have lances. And then saving on a six. Then regeneration on a five. That did 27 wounds, and then the regular old sticks. Hitting on a four. Saving on a six. And then regeneration of a five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that'll be enough to take him out. And then put this squad down to eight wounds remaining. For Swarm Attacks attacking back, looking for a six. And they also have poison, so one, two, three turns into nine hits. Let me get rid of these. And then the Forest Riders have a defense five. Hey, look at all the man, look at all them sixes. So one, two, I only lose three. Three. So, uh, the Force Riders won a massive victory here, and the Plague Riders, or the Plague Swarms are sticking around! Oh my lord! Our big brick of Blood Warriors is just going to double time it all the way up here. And then the Harbinger is going to use his symbol of war. It's cut. Symbol of war and fail. Now our bowmen on the hill are gonna fire into the left caliber here. So hitting on a five. The beast rider save on a four. All right, that takes out nine of the lust beast riders. On this flank, we're gonna have the screechers charge into the tree men. So lots of attacks hitting on a four. That was definitely not a very good hit. So saving on a five, since they are AP two. So one, two, there's the dice there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wounds. So one of the tree giants has three wounds remaining and they're gonna attack back, looking for a three. And on this attack, saving on a five. Wait, saving on a six. So that's 11 so far. Then there's stomp attacks hitting on a three. And then this is saving on a five. So, uh oh, this might not have gone how the screamers wanted. So the screamers are at half and you take a panic check and they fail. So that means they go away. That definitely didn't go how the Lord of Change thought it would. The volley guns on the hill are going to shoot into the Havoc Knights that are coming up the middle. Looking for fives. And then looking for fours to save. One, two, three, four, five. So seven gone. Boop. Now the Giants being in the charge range, everybody, are just going to plod forward. The unit of elf archers over here is going to fire into the Lord of Change. Look for four. Ooh, and then saving on a two. He's fine. This Avatar of War is going to spin and charge into this unit of knights. It attacks with his flame axes hitting on a two. And it is rending. Okay, so three is three rendings. So all three of those go through. Everything else is AP1, so it saves on a five. Fifteen there. And 
then he has six stomp attacks hitting on a two. AP two is so saving on a six. So they lose four more. Now he definitely causes fear, but that, you, well, that single knight is gonna stick around. It'll be a pain in the butt. Cannon section here is gonna fire into the blood warriors and completely miss. Lovely, I just realized I forgot it's the symbol of war. Yeah, <laughs> so that last night does go away. In an attempt to break out all the plague forces, the plague flies are going to charge in. So we're gonna do the herald symbol of plague. It does not work. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, and the seven that are left. Now we've already attacked this turn. Move the camera a little bit. So I need sixes to hit with the stingers. Okay. Now these are poisoned. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means we're at a total of 12 hits. Saving on a four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wounds. And then the riders. Six, seven attacks, hitting on a six. One hit. And that one is poisoned as well. So one more wound. Now attacks back with the lances. Only hitting on a six, so they only have one hit. Fails, but regeneration, they regenerate. And that means that the plague flies, or in this case frogs, did win the combat. And they're going to stick around. Now we're going to have the tree revenants charge into the castle breaker gargants. And their attacks hitting on a four. We're going to do the rending first. 11 hits, needing sixes to save. So that will be 5, 10. Taking it down to 7. Now for the rest of the hits, 3 to save. So we 1, 2, 3 more. He's down to 4. Okay, the Castle Breakers attacking back. These are all of their Mega Club attacks, but the Treemen have Malice. Or the tree revenants have malice, so it's going to be minus one to hit. Looking for five. Six is to save here. Okay, so it'll be four more. This will be down to one. Now moving on to their stomp attacks. They don't have stomp attacks. They have gate smash attacks. Looking for a five, so only one hit. Uh, AP lots. That'll be one more dead tree revenant. Now, the way that worked, the Revenants won combat. The Castle Breakers are fearless, so they're looking for a three, and they fail. Oop, they are going to be pinned for the next turn. That is, that could be big. Back to the Change Demons. Our unit of horrors has moved up. We're going to do a symbol of change from the leader. It goes off. We're going to hit the Steam Tank. And it's going to take AP3 with Deadly 3, and it fails its armor save. So it is down to three wounds remaining. Now, wizard time. We're going to roll Inferno looking for a four. And fail. So they're going to launch 15 fireballs at the Pistoliers unit. Looking for a four to hit. Five to save. And my champion has three shots. All three hit at the same target. Oop, get to rid of that one. Rolling a save. Okay, they're going to take three more. Which means they might be pinned. And they are. So now they are going to activate. They're going to take this off. And they're going to go in reverse as fast as possible. To put them right about there. This unit of demons is going to activate. And they are going to reverse Screecher Chariots have moved whoop, this way, and they're going to put all their fire into the Great Weapon Masters. 
So they are going to hit on a 4 and save on a 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. The treatmen here are going to wheel and charge into our giant block of horrors here. So the tree men brutes hitting on a 4. Another their AP1 saving on a 6. 30 wounds go through, causing blue horrors to turn into little changelings. So 10 attacks going back with our sixes. Two hits. One wound. And do these got whoop, knock everything around? Do these tree men have regeneration? They don't, so they take one wound. So 30 to 1, the tree men definitely won combat, but I don't I don't know if the changelings count as being below half strength because they're really weird. But we're gonna roll anyways, and they are gonna be, they're gonna be pinned. Okay, I looked it up, it says that uh, for morale, if it has less than half the number of wounds that it started the battle with. So technically, this, this unit has twice the number of wounds that it started the battle with. So we're just gonna be pinned. Now the center of the board, the half warriors here are just going to charge forward as a brick. The Rafflemen at the top of the hill on the church are going to fire into that warrior brick. Looking for fives. Now it's going to be fours to save. They lose six. Now this big brick of vortex beasts is going to move forward. Right, they're firing their mutation vortex up the Rifleman. So we're going to give them cover for this. So look for a five to hit. Now, they're going to need sixes to save. 23 dead riflemen on the hill. Are they pinned? They are pinned. The cannons are going to fire into the mutated, uh, the vortex beasts. So let's angle a little better. Look at our five. So we got two, so that'll be six hits. The AP one, force to save. Three wounds go through. On this flank over here, the fiends are going to charge in. So the impact hits, saving on a four. And regenerating from the lady's blessing. That caused 14 wounds, now their regular attacks hitting on a three. And all the overload hits, saving on a four. And a regen of five. They're down to two knights and the lady attacking back, hitting once, and one goes through, so that's going to kill off a fiend. Now, uh, panic check for the knights, and they pass. The steam tanks are going to move just a few inches over to here, and now they're going to shoot. They're going to put their steam attacks into the brick of demons again. Okay, three hits. It's going to be two more gone, and the cannons are going to be put into, uh, we'll put them into the same target. Oh, so they all hit. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight extra hits, because they are blast three. So six is to save. So the demons are slowly being replaced <laughs> with changelings. Second brick of warriors is going to go right up the middle. Uh, so everything sticks to it. The tree giants are going to wheel and charge into the side of the chariots. Because they already fought, looking for a six. Six hits, saving on a five. So there are four there. Another stomp attacks again, needing a six. Saving on a four, so two saves. Screech chariots down to two and panic test. They are gonna be pinned for the next turn. Okay, over here, these guys are gonna wheel 90 degrees. Move out of the way. 
Okay, the crossbowmen on the hill here are going to fire down into the chariot. It's looking for a five. Ooh. Saving on a four. So they take two more. That will be it for him. Uh, since the little ones moved out of the way, the plague warriors are going to charge forward. All right, so because they have the banner of plague, they have rending and they have dual hand weapons with poison. So they hit on a four. Okay, so they have four rending, which means with the poison they get an extra eight hits, and then the rending saves on a six, so that'll be three. Then y'all saves on a five. I'm taking 15 wounds, and then the attack's back to hitting on a six. We have one hit and one save. So the tree riders, horse riders have quality of four. They're going to run away. The peasants have decided to become crazy and charge down off of their hill. Six is to hit. Three is to save. Ooh, one goes through. I actually kill a knight. Now the knight attacks back. Looking for a six to hit. Ooh, one hit. Fail the save, but they do have the lady's blessing. Uh, it still kills one. Uh, because the way morale works, because I have ranks and ranks of peasants there. They failed their test, so they're going to be pinned. Now that all the cheeky stuff is done, we're just going to start doing combat across the board. So our Avatar of Lust is going to charge into here. And she is going to use her symbol of lust. Let me get four dice. And it goes off twice. So two enemy units are going to get six attacks, or six hits. So this one here saving on a four. So they lose three. And then we're going to choose that one over there. Okay, they lost two, but Lady's Blessing. So that's going to take off that last guy. She's going to choose Overload for the unit right in front of her. Her spell, looking for a four, and we get it. So now i got to find out how many dice I need. Right, they take a hit for every two up that's rolled. Pretty much pick out the ones and then a four up save. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more die. So it'll be that would be ten, so we'll just add another wound back on here. Now for actual attacks, <laughs> hitting on a two, uh, and it is rending. Ooh, quite a few ones in there, and only one six, so save on a six. That'll be one. Everybody else. So she, she does not have over, yeah, she does have overload. So that six gives me another two hits. And then four up to save. Be nine more wounds. So be three, eight, nine. And she has six stomp attacks overloaded with AP2. So all those hit, but it's overloaded. So it's an extra additional hit there. So uh, save it on a six. Three, four more. Now, since they got hit in the flank, they don't attack back. And quite obviously, they lost combat. And they're going to take off running. On the same flank, we're going to have these men at arms charge into the demon lust riders. So, since they have the dude with them, they hit on a four. Oh, that didn't help much. And then the demons save on a four. So, there's two more. The demon mounts. Hitting on six, and these are going to be poisoned attacks. Is it poison? Let me look at it. It's poison, but it's half the attacks I thought it was. So hitting on a six. So we got two, which turns into six. For these guys, they save on a five, so it'll be four. And then for the girls on the back, 
one six with overload. And then two more. So five, six total gone. They lost combat and they are going to just be pitted. It's going to move down the line in a line. So these guys here are just going to come and plug this hole. I'm going to have the militia here charge in to the dogs. Dual hand weapons they hit on a five. Three, four, five, six hits. Seven hits. Defense of four. One, two, three, three dead dogs. Now the dog's attacking back, needing sixes. Only three hits, uh, saving on a six. So we lose two militia. The militia won, three up for the dogs. Okay, they're gonna pass. Now we're gonna put the spear unit into the unit of crushers. All right, 20 attacks, hitting on a four. Hitting on a three. One, two, just two. All right, their attacks back, hitting on a six. Two hits. Two dead spearmen. Now let's go with the rank bonus. These guys win. And the demons. Oh, is that on? They're fine. Bowmen on the hill are going to fire into the dogs. Fives. The force to save. Ooh, there goes five. So it'll be one whole one. And then you go over there. Oh, here we go. Warboss fits making mistakes again. I forgot that I had the Battle of Pilgrim thingy, so I'm going to give it to the Pilgrims, or not the Peasants, and those Spearmen, so we're going to give them all one more attack, because they both already won combat, just to, just to throw more damage out. So, the Spearmen first, hitting all fives, yeah, two hits, one more wound, that would not have, well, it would have affected, whatever, it would have affected the, the Strikes Backs, but yeah. We're fine. And then the peasants over here into the knights. Hitting on five. Or hitting on sixes, I'm sorry. Two, three hits, four hits. And saving on threes. Oh, they lose three more. All right. So moving along, these fanatics, they're going to come down here. Uh, the mount, the foot knights there, these guys are just clogging that hole. The altar of fury is going to come forward and it's going to fire its banishment lasers down at the, at the knights here. Okay, so three hits, four hits, oh wait, it's rending too, so two of those are rending, and sixes. Okay, so there's one, and then these two and threes, so there's three more. No better time to do it than now. Our Forest Dragon, well, our Blade Champion on the Forest Dragon is going to go into there. Breath Weapon is three automatic hits at AP1, so look for four, so they fail two of those. Claw Attacks hitting on three. Okay, and then that is AP1, so they save on a four. There are three more. Three attacks from the Great Weapon. They all hit. Okay, two or more, and then four attacks with the stomp. AP ones, look for four, so there's two more. And then, oh, he's a wizard too. All right, it's supposed to be with four attacks, we're gonna do it now. We're gonna try insect attack on a four up, yes. So that means they take two units, take four hits with AP ones. So we're gonna take these guys for a four, so we take two more, and then we're going to save the Giants with a four. They take two. Two, and then I will figure out combat. That's their attacks back, look for a three. Saving on a four. He has nine wounds left and definitely one combat. 
And the Chaos guys, they had nine, they have five. And the, okay, so they don't run, but they are pinned. Though they're, they're panicked. All right, continuing further down this line, this unit here is they're gonna pop out to block there. These guys are gonna charge in here. So for them, it's going to be eight attacks, hitting all four. And they are great weapons. So saving on a six. Five. Since they haven't fought this turn, they get to fight back. Looking for a three. Oh, those didn't hit. And well, then saving on a six. So they did enough to kill that unit. Then the unit of Halibridge charged into him as well. So looking for a, I don't know, I'll say I'm gonna check. And they needed a five and eight of those were rending, so sixes. So that'll be, wow, okay, so there's eight right there, which is gonna be enough to just take those out. So on this flank, this unit of other halibers was going to come up and plug the hole. Right, Fifteen more crossbow bolts into the big mob of horrors over there. Look for fives. There's four hits. And four more gone. Finally, this unit of great swords is going to move up to here. And our lord on Griffin is going to move over there next to him. Now for the chaos side over here, this guy on dragon, <laughs> Archon on dragon is going to move forward, not ready to commit yet. And the trolls are going to move forward right behind the infantry. The cavalry is kind of stuck in a bottleneck here. They are going to go this direction. Wheel and over here are slugs. going to come follow right behind here. And then big pop of pump here. He's going to just move forward. He's going to use his symbol of plague, or his, his whatever of plague. And it's going to be three times they're going to have to take difficult terrain tests. So, bear with me. All right, so dangerous terrain tech for the infantry there, the cavalry there. It'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, six gone. So we left that. And our last units on this far flank, the Scorchers, are going to go this direction and they're going to fire at the tree men. When I say tree men, I mean tree giants right here in the middle. So looking for four, sixes are rending. Rending needed six. So there's three. The non rending needed three. Okay, so it's just the three rending, which is enough to take down one of the giants. Last but certainly not least, the Avatar of Change charging into the steam tanks. So he needs fours for symbol of change. So that's one. AP three. Uh, yes. That, what? Two, three, four. No, it saves. All right, going on to spell casting. He's going to fire a bolt of change. He needs a four up. And he gets it. So the steam tanks are gonna take one hit with AP4 and needs a six to send. And they save! A lot of dice, so we're gonna aim it this way. So his staff of change. Hitting out of two. And then steam tanks save. I believe they save on a two. I just looked at it. <laughs> uh, yes, they save on a two. So look for a two up save. One with warp, or two with warp, so that means it's gonna be three damage and then three more damage. So that's enough to take out one of the tanks. And the steam tanks start with. They start with nine. So the, set, the last steam tank is down to six wounds remaining. Now his stomp attacks. They all hit. And his AP. Two. Look for four to save. So it takes two more. He's down to four. 
No, the steam tank has no close combat weapon, so he loses. And he is going to run away because most of his platoon, or his company, is also dead. Thank you everybody for stopping by and checking out turns 1 and 2 for this game. Now we had to take a break from it because all the batteries that I had died. So I'm recording you on my really crappy microphone headset here. But what we're going to do is once everything's charged back up, we're going to charge back out in the garage and keep on playing. Hopefully I plan on splitting this at least to three videos, uh, that way I don't have one that's like four hours long. But, in case things do get too lopsided, there are some twists I can throw in. So, remember, until next time, keep on having fun.